Hello everybody, welcome back to Rocky Mountain Style. This is Patrick. Today, finally unboxing my Parkhurst boots. Uh, first time I've had a pair of Parkhurst and also kind of an interesting box shape, right? It's more elongated, so they must have the boots not overlapping like normal because I thought, hey, that's a pretty, pretty weird long box. But so uh, these have a fun story. They're coming from New York, which is where Parkhurst is based. Um, they flew to Los Angeles, they flew back to Pennsylvania, and they finally flew to Denver and were driven down to Colorado Springs. So these boots have uh, more frequent flyer miles than I do this year. So that's fun. All right. Thank you. For, thank you for your support. Enjoy and wear well, Andrew. Awesome. Thanks. I hear Andrew, who I believe is the owner, does a lot with this brand, uh, maybe pretty much everything himself. Um, seems like a fantastic guy, and I hope, uh, hope he keeps growing. So he seems like a good guy, and I've never touched or felt a Parkhurst boot before, but they seem cool online. Extra pair of laces, flat, flat wax cotton lace in brown. Okay, so those look like um, you know average, average laces that you get. Okay, so there's a view. So it's just that there's extra room in there. It's not really that the boots are done any differently. But all right, so each boot in its own individual dust bag, which is nice. All right, here, I'm going to back this up a little bit. This looks like it's a little bit close. There we go. Okay, that's better. All righty, threw that off. And in plastic, I like that they're bagged in plastic. A lot of boot manufacturers, most boot manufacturers don't do this. Um, but to have it double bagged just means that when you have something like this that's a suede, like this waxy commander, uh, you're going to have less chance to be really scuffed. Okay, cool. They, my first impression is that they're significantly darker than I thought they would be uh, in the photos. They look like a light brown. This is supposed to be light brown waxy commander and they look fairly dark. Uh, I like how they look, just just a little bit of a surprise. You know, yeah, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a couple, you know, marks. There's really nothing to be done about that. If you're shipping, shipping something, it's gonna have some scuffs coming on it. Okay, so the laces that come in it are round waxed cotton laces. Cool. All right, those look pretty nice, but I will definitely put the others in to try those out as well. All right, looks like we got Parkhurst branding down on the bottom. That's cool. All right, here is the sole. It's Hyde Commando. All right, pretty cool. Pretty cool. This will be my first Commando sole that's not the Vibram uh, Commando sole. I can already tell this feels a lot less stiff than the Vibram, which I really don't like um, all that much, to be completely honest with you. Uh, this boot, though, the Niagara, I love this silhouette. I love the mock toe, and I love the fact that it's not, you know, a square mock toe like, um, well, here we have it right here, like perhaps on something like that. Um, I like this shape, too. It has its place, but... In general, I think that is a killer silhouette. I really, really like that. All right, let's look real close here at the welt. Don't see any issues. All right, there's where the there's where the welt comes in. That's pretty good. It's about as good as it can get. Yeah, and Parkhurst. So as many of you are watching this probably know, as I get the second boot out, I'll talk a little bit. From what I've heard, they used to make their boots in America. Then the pandemic happened. Um, you know, global supply chains were crunched, bad things happened, and it forced them to look for a new factory. And Spain was the answer, I believe. Uh, I have no problem with goods made in Spain, so that's cool. And I just hope that uh, everything's quieted down for them and that they don't uh, they don't continue to have any more issues. A little bit of glue there or something. Check out the welt on this guy. Yeah, though my initial impressions are the boots feel really nice. They feel like a very high quality boot. There's the join. Yeah, again, that's that's what welt joins look like. Uh, really like the way the heel stack looks. This is a nice dye on this leather. A good contrast to the darker brown here. And again, um, I'll, I'll probably already at this point, I've thrown the picture up there, but 
Really thought these were going to be a lot lighter. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and throw the other set of laces on so you can see, and then we're going to get them on foot and see if they fit. These are a 10D, by the way. And there they are with the other laces put in. I thought I was going to like these flat ones better, but I think they're a bit thick. I think I like, uh, I think I like the round ones better. Although I'm not sure. It'll be interesting to see once, uh, once I get them on. Um, also, something I, I knew from the description, but I you know, re-noticed uh, while I was lacing these bad boys up is that they are indeed, uh, well, let's just go like this. We have a gusseted tongue, which I really like. It keeps the tongue from falling off to the side, which is actually a, a pretty big problem for me. I don't know if it's because of the shape of my ankle or lower calf or just the boots I'm wearing, but I have a big, a big issue with, uh, with tongues falling off to one side as I wear them. So I like when they're gusseted. So that's a nice feature. Um, yeah. So let's get them on foot. Also, real quick, I wanted to talk about the leather. This is, of course, Waxy Commander, which is a C.F. Stead product. So Charles F. Stead, of course, is the famous English tannery out of Leeds, UK, I believe. Um, but it's essentially a waxed suede. I read about it right before I made this video. They do something to it in the tanning process, which makes the grain shrink a bit. And then they are able to stuff it with wax and other things like that. And they use the word waterproof. They don't use water resistant, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, I'm not going to go stand in a river with these because I don't need them to be waterproof. I'm not going to be, you know, rocking around the, the creeks with these or anything. But I do think that's pretty interesting. Uh, it's a nice leather from all the pictures I've seen. It wears very well and gets pretty distinctive with age. So, yeah, CF Stead, Waxy Commander. And no surprise here, guys. Uh, they absolutely do fit, which is fantastic. Uh, 10D has been my size in nearly everything. So that's what I got and they fit. Um, this is it for the unboxing. Let me know what questions you have. Um, let me know what your experience with Parkhurst is in the comments below. And if I got anything wrong in regards to the history of the company when I was talking about that earlier, please correct me. And I'm gonna wear these around. Hopefully I'll get more wear out of these. It is summer, so I don't wear boots quite as often as I normally would. However, um, yeah. I like them. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.